The Titanic is a very powerful case study because it's, um, most people know of the disaster, the four days of the um, maiden voyage preceding the disaster, but there's a much bigger story. The story really goes back about five years. And when you actually look at this whole story, so you look at it holistically, you look at the project, you start to see uh, very important uh, lessons that can be transcribed back to today and how projects go wrong. Today's world is full of project failures. Um, project failures happen all the time. 25% of uh, projects end up um, being uh, cancelled because they, um, they just aren't going in the right direction. So it's important for today's business world to understand why projects fail. And the Titanic is a very powerful case study of that. The roots of the, the failure really started with the um, start of the project itself in terms of the, um, the design and as the project proceeded there was a whole series of mistakes that were made and the, th this is what makes this story so fascinating is, is that most people associate the disaster to uh, operational reasons when the project went into implementation but in fact the, the, the root causes were from day one as they were designing. Now there was a, a project mantra at the time to build a luxurious liner and that proceeded over everything so there was almost a competition if, if anything came up against that particular mantra it was pushed down by the stakeholders so the stakeholders wrote, rode roughshod over the architects who were trying to design certain features that met certain standards and as the project proceeded the um, it, there was basically two ships there was the Olympic that was built in parallel now the Olympic was launched prior to the Titanic and the Olympic ran into a number of uh, quite serious problems. It had a collision with the HMS Hawk and that collision threw um, the whole of Titanic's project into, into a spin because they had to repair the Olympic to get her back into service. And as a result of that, they basically compromised on certain phases within Titanic's um, project. So they compromised on the actual testing. There was no testing that was done. There was no sea trials that effectively took, took place. So effectively what happened was the Titanic's maiden voyage was not only a voyage to meet the expectations of, of, a, uh, of a media which was anticipating the launch but also the expectations of 53 millionaires um, and it was also a, the maiden voyage where they hadn't properly tested the ship so they ended up doing a lot of the testing in the early days of the maiden voyage. So all these things combined together led to uh, the, the disaster. What we try and do with Lessons from History is look at the, the, the bigger picture. We try and look at the whole of the project preceding it beforehand and bring really important information to play. Titanic would have failed um, regardless of, of, um, of the time frame because of the project itself, right? So if they'd launched it a month earlier, it would have still failed. As, as It would have ended up in a disaster because there were so many things that were set against it in terms of what had gone wrong because that's really what we're trying to do is we're trying to to show the fact that projects have a chance of, of failing quite a high chance about 25 percent and how do you prevent that how do you prevent that in today's world well you can look back at this case study and, and try and avoid some of the pitfalls that they encountered as they were going through this particular project mm -hmm.